Welcome to the constructor introduction video. In this video, we're going to introduce you to the basic features of the constructor. Uh, over here right now uh, in our main diagram area, uh, this is where you'll design uh, and test your circuits. Currently, we have uh, an existing sample diagram loaded for you. Over here on the right, uh, we have being currently displayed as our active help system. Uh, and this system will uh, be there to uh, help you uh, learn the program as you go along. So as you're moving your mouse cursor over different areas, the active help system will adjust accordingly and uh, give you some information based on the area that you're currently hovering over. On the top of the split screen, we have a couple different tabs currently displayed. If we click on our ladder diagram here, it's just going to show us another uh, view of what's already being displayed over here on the main screen. Uh, this is just here for the convenience if you want to zoom out on one area and have one another area on this left over here zoomed in. Um, you can certainly um, kind of see the full diagram view over here and, and more of a, a closer zoomed in view over on the other side. If we open up this uh, split screen a little bit more, you'll see this button here. It's uh, to synchronize the window. So if that's clicked and it's, it will be displayed in green. As we move along over here on the zoomed out view, you can see over on the left there it's moving the diagram accordingly. And the other tab up here is the properties tab and this tab will display the properties uh, for like your drawing objects and stuff. So if I draw a text box and just type something here and then select it, we have uh, the properties that we can change the text change colors on, on boxes and drawing objects and things like that, uh, do our alignment and uh, everything that we need to as far as the properties go. We have a few other tabs that you have options for. If you go to set tabs, you can add more tabs. Uh, you can display a workbook area, um, notes, a simulation script, a simulation log. Uh, if we click on the workbook, uh, basically it'll display information in the project that you include so if you go over here to the workbook section this is where you'll add uh, text and other information uh, for the workbook and a feature that we have in the workbook is uh, to be able to display active links uh, down here we have some links that uh, you won't be able to see if we were to click them here but if we go to the ladder diagram and that workbook is displayed uh, as we turn that on back into simulation mode now let's just zoom out here. So as I click this uh, toggle link, you'll see that it toggles the safety switch up in this left corner over here. If I press the start button, uh, you'll see the start button activated. Uh, so just some different things that you can do as far as uh, for educational purposes, um, you know, to be able to do some instruction and things like that. And at any time, we have uh, several uh, sample ladder diagrams that you can open and look at. So if you go to file and choose open project, and we have uh, several different uh, diagrams that you can pull in. To start a brand new project, just go up to File and choose New Project. And we can use uh, the default settings. And they'll just start a blank page for us. And you're automatically uh, set up with a three-phase PowerPoint set here. Uh, and to uh, add wires, just simply click on a dotted line. And then to add a symbol, what you would do is you would click into the symbol box. You could right-click in the symbol box. And we could add, in this case, let's just add a coil here. If you want the symbol library to be displayed at all times, you can click up here and then it'll keep the symbol library open up here for you. And we can just add, let's say, a switch. At any time, you can change uh, how the PowerPoints are being displayed. So we can right click on this and we can change it, uh, convert it to a single phase two wire set. And then we'll just drag this PowerPoint over to drag. And above each symbol, uh, we have some text boxes available um, that are included. So we can click in that box and we can type in uh, a description for it. And then we have, um, you can use these boxes above uh, the symbol too and below it for terminal ID and, and wire ID if you'd like as well. Here we have a contact. I'm going to zoom into this area. If I hold down my control button and highlight to that area, I'm going to right click on this contact and I'm going to choose assignment and in here it will give a list of objects that I can sign this contact to currently we have the standard relay I'm just going to click on that we have the option to choose whether we want it to delayed or instantaneous we're just going to keep it instantaneous and choose OK now when I click the switch you'll notice that that contact will change states as soon as that coil is activated and then that light will also react as well and you'll notice a powerful flow color here. Uh, we've got red on this side and blue on this side. In our symbol library again, 
um, we have the option to add. You see some different tabs broken down into categories already for you. Uh, if you want to add your own tab, you can certainly add a new tab and name it. You can also search for uh, certain symbols just by simply typing in uh, what you're searching for. Display all our symbols. And we can type in switch here, and now it'll bring up all switches. Uh, we can do, let's say, coils. And here we have coils, motors. Uh, but again, we do have several different tabs already kind of displayed up here for you, uh, for your convenience. Up on the top menu, under Help, you can go to the CMH Software website and you have access to uh, the Constructor Learning Center, which will display several videos that you can watch. You can email technical support, the Internet Download Wizard. You can check for any updates that we might have for patches and stuff. Um, under the index, this will display a searchable uh, help file that you can uh, browse and, and get information on different um, things on how to use the constructor. Under tools, you can print a diagram technical information. Under draw, it's basically the same thing that you have access over here if you were to click on the symbol. Um, under wires and components, under PowerPoints, you can add additional PowerPoint sets. Uh, under transformers, we can add different transformers as well. So if you notice up here, we have transformers just applied. Um, we have modules such as a generic PLCIO modules and terminal strips. So uh, finished and you'd like to print or export, uh, simply go to file and you can choose export the ladder diagram. Um, you can choose a DXF, DWG, you can choose uh, different image files like say JPEG. Um, under PDF, we can choose to export to a PDF file. And this will just uh, currently display how the PDF will be displayed and then back under file and then print we can choose to print the diagram uh, or even the documents in the workbook section that we had up there If we print the diagram uh, if it's multiple pages you'll have multiple pages being displayed here